Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovering science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids! Today I'm going to tell you about the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is the warming of Earth's surface and the air above it. It is caused by gases in the air that trap energy from the sun. These heat trapping gases are called greenhouse gases. The most common greenhouse gases are water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane. That's what keeps our Earth a warm and cozy 58 degrees Fahrenheit on average. Without the greenhouse effect, Earth would be too cold for life to exist. As you might expect from the name, the greenhouse effect works like a greenhouse. A greenhouse is a building with glass walls and a glass roof. Greenhouses are used to grow plants, such as tomatoes and tropical flowers. A greenhouse stays warm inside even during the winter. In the daytime, sunlight shines into the greenhouse, warms up the plants and air inside. At nighttime, it's colder outside, but the greenhouse stays pretty warm inside. That's because the walls of the greenhouse trap the sun's heat. The greenhouse effect works much the same way on Earth. Sunlight enters the Earth's atmosphere, passing through the blanket of greenhouse gases. The Earth's surface absorbs the sunlight's energy. Once absorbed, this energy is sent back into the atmosphere. Some of the energy passes back into space, but much of it remains trapped in the atmosphere by the greenhouse gases causing our world to heat up. Scientists believe that human activities are increasing the greenhouse effect. Extreme weather, like hurricanes, droughts, floods, food supply disruptions, and increased wildfires are effects of climate change caused by greenhouse gases. Also, increasing temperatures can cause glaciers and the polar ice caps to start melting, which can cause sea levels to rise. When people drive a car, or operate a factory, they burn coal, oil, and other fossil fuels. This adds extra greenhouse gases to the air, and the extra gases trap more heat. Livestock agriculture is a source of methane, a powerful greenhouse gas. Methane is more than 25 times as potent as carbon dioxide a trap being heated in the atmosphere. Many scientists think that this has led to global warming, or steady rise to the average temperature of Earth's surface. How can I help the greenhouse effect? Some of the ways you can help may have to wait until you're a little older if you're not old enough right now, like choosing an energy efficient car and installing solar panels on the roof of your house. You can help by planting a tree. Your new plants and trees will help to remove the greenhouse gas CO2, also known as carbon dioxide, from the air. If you grow some of your own food, you also help to prevent more CO2 from entering the air. Swap incandescent light bulbs for compact fluorescent light CFLs. They use only 25% as much electricity to give the same light. They last 10 times longer. Turn off lights, TVs, computers, and other electronics when you do not need them. Your carbon footprint is the amount of carbon dioxide released into the air because of your own energy needs. You need transportation, electricity, food, clothing, and other goods. Your choices can make a difference. The greenhouse effect was first proposed by Joseph Fornwar in 1824. Mars, Venus, and other planets with atmospheres also have greenhouse effects. The effect on Venus is especially strong because Venus has so much CO2. This is why Venus is hotter than Mercury, even though Mercury is closer to the Sun. Thank you for watching this Adventurous Kids episode. What did you learn today? Adventurous Kids! Adventurous Kids! What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous Kids! Adventurous Kids! Adventurous! Adventurous.